Hi all and welcome to episode 7 of Plain Talking Sanjeev. My topic again today is Air India, the same topic, uh, same airline I spoke about yesterday. But there's so much to be said about Air India. This, it's an airline that you know all of us want to know more about. My story is from the mid-1990s, 1995, when Rusi Modi was the joint chairman and managing director of both Air India and Indian Airlines. I took a flight with my wife in 1995 on an Air India operated, well actually it was on an Air India flight number, but it was a wet lease aircraft operated by Caribjet. It was a Lockheed TriStar aircraft, I remember, and the flight was awful. Service, attitude, product, seats, cabin, everything was awful. So when I came back to Wharton, uh, to Philadelphia, I wrote a letter uh, to Air India, highlighting point by point all the deficiencies and gaps, and uh, just saying that I thought you should know that this is what customers are seeing. To my surprise, about two months later, I got a handwritten letter back, signed by Rusia Modi, uh, responding to each one of those points. Each one of those points saying that, uh, you know, how much they appreciated uh, being made aware of what was going on and what they would do to address that. Now that lesson has stuck with me forever. You know, the importance of not only getting customer feedback but responding to it and acting on it. Now a few months later, I was interning with Bain & Company, a management consulting firm in uh, out of Bombay. And uh, I sought an appointment with Rusi Modi to um, offer a consulting services to help Air India. So very graciously, he gave us an appointment and we went to Calcutta, top floor of the Tata building. And he met with us, was very gracious, and he basically said, look, I know you guys are smart, you go to Harvard, Wharton, Stanford, all these places, IIM, but getting to the right answer, telling me you know, what my network should be, my pricing should be, what my product should be, he said, that's the easy part. Yeah, I know you can do that, you can help me, but what I really need help with is helping me get my orders or my instructions followed. He says, my biggest challenge is I issue an instruction and it doesn't get followed. It's a cultural challenge. How do I change the culture at Air India? And if you can help me with that, I will hire you on the spot today. That lesson has stuck with me forever. I think changing culture of an organization is the biggest challenge of senior management of the leader. And the single most important job of the CEO or the MD of a company is culture change. Thank you, hope you enjoyed it. See you again tomorrow. Take care, bye-bye.